What springs to mind when you consider the grandeur of a billion-dollar mansion? The opulence of such an estate is not just a testament to the immense wealth of its owner, but also a reflection of their tastes, their desires, and perhaps their eccentricities. Wealth in its most ostentatious form can be seen in the sprawling lawns of these estates, the ornate architecture, the hand-picked art pieces adorning their walls, and the grandeur of their interior designs. Yet wealth is not only about extravagant properties, it's about the power to bring dreams to life, to manifest a vision of grandeur that few can even imagine. It's about the ability to shape the world, not just in terms of physical assets, but also in terms of influence and prestige. It's about the allure of the unreachable, the mystique of the untouchable, and the fascination we have with lives lived on such a grand scale. One such example of opulence is a mansion that has been the subject of much speculation and intrigue, a property so extravagant, so luxurious that it stands as a symbol of the immense wealth and power of its owner. This is no ordinary mansion but a billion-dollar fortress, a monument to wealth and power hidden away from the public eye. This mansion is shrouded in mystery, its existence known to only a select few. Its owner is no ordinary individual but a man whose name is synonymous with power and influence. A man who has shaped the course of history and who continues to wield significant power on the global stage. This mansion belongs to none other than Vladimir Putin, the President of Russia. A man of immense power and influence, Putin's billion-dollar mansion stands as a testament to his opulence and grandeur. It's a symbol of his power, his influence, and his wealth. And yet, one such mansion belonging to none other than Vladimir Putin stands as a beacon of controversy and intrigue. Imagine a property, shrouded in secrecy, finally coming into the light. This isn't just any property. We're talking about a $1 billion mansion, often referred to as the Palace on the Black Sea a testament to the opulence and power of one man, Vladimir Putin. The discovery of this mansion was no less than a detective story. Whispers and rumors of its existence had been floating around in hushed tones for years. Some claimed it was merely a state guesthouse, while others believed it to be a resort for the elite. However, the truth was far more intriguing. In the midst of these speculations, a letter surfaced. Penned by Sergei Kolesnikov, a disillusioned businessman formerly linked with the Putin regime, it was addressed to then-President Dmitry Medvedev. Kolesnikov revealed the existence of this extravagant property and claimed it was funded through illicit means, essentially a palace built on corruption. The initial reaction to this revelation was a mix of disbelief and intrigue. The public, already used to tales of corruption and power abuse, was eager for more information. The media, on the other hand, was skeptical, cautious of the potential repercussions of such a claim. As the story unfolded, evidence began to pile up. Satellite images of the mansion surfaced and investigative journalists risked their safety to uncover the truth. Adding fuel to the fire was the silence from the Kremlin which neither confirmed nor denied the existence of the mansion. As the evidence became impossible to ignore, the world watched in disbelief. The mansion, once a whisper in the corridors of power, was now a symbol of unchecked wealth and influence. The controversy surrounding its existence painted a stark picture of the divide between the rulers and the ruled, the wealthy and the poor. Thus, the curtain was lifted, revealing a spectacle of wealth and power that left the world astounded. The story of Putin's secret mansion was no longer a secret, and the world was left to grapple with the implications of this revelation. But what happens when opulence is tinged with controversy? Well, this is where the narrative of Putin's secret mansion takes a fascinating turn. The mansion valued at an eye-watering $1 billion has been the subject of intense scrutiny and speculation. It is not just its sheer size or lavishness that raises eyebrows, but the question of its funding. Allegations of corruption and misuse of power have been swirling around this mansion for years, with critics arguing that such a mansion couldn't possibly be funded through legitimate means. They argue that it's simply not feasible for a public servant, even one as high-ranking as Putin, to afford such an extravagant property on their salary alone. This raises questions about how Putin amassed such wealth and whether this mansion is the product of ill-gotten gains. These allegations have fueled an ongoing debate about Putin's wealth. It's a debate that goes beyond the walls of this mansion and delves into the very heart of Russia's political system. It's a debate that questions the transparency and accountability of Putin's regime, 
and whether the system facilitates the accumulation of wealth at the top while leaving the masses impoverished. And this controversy doesn't just affect Putin, it serves as a reflection of a broader global issue, the concentration of wealth and power in the hands of a few. It's a stark reminder of the glaring inequality that exists in our world today. The mansion with its golden interiors and sprawling grounds stands as a symbol. It's a symbol of power, wealth, and influence, yes, but also of controversy, corruption, and inequality. The controversy surrounding the mansion serves as a stark reminder of the power dynamics at play in today's world. So, what does a billion-dollar mansion look like? Imagine a sprawling estate that stretches over a vast expanse of land, as far as the eye can see. The mansion itself is a marvel of architecture, a testament to the timeless allure of grandeur. Its exterior, a harmonious blend of classic and contemporary styles, is a sight to behold. Majestic columns, reminiscent of ancient Greek architecture, frame the entrance. The building's facade, clad in the finest marble, glistens in the sunlight. As we venture inside, opulence meets the eye at every turn. Each room, from the grand ballroom to the private quarters, exudes luxury. The grand ballroom, with its high ceilings and ornate chandeliers, is large enough to host a gathering of hundreds. The private quarters, on the other hand, are a haven of comfort and privacy, complete with plush furnishings and state-of-the-art amenities. The mansion also boasts an array of leisure facilities. There's a private theater equipped with the latest technology for an unparalleled cinematic experience. A fully equipped gymnasium and a lavish spa cater to the physical well-being and relaxation needs of the residents. For the wine connoisseurs, there's a wine cellar that can house thousands of bottles of the finest wines from around the globe. However, the grandeur doesn't stop at the mansion's doors. The outdoor space is equally impressive, featuring beautifully manicured gardens, a large swimming pool, and even a helipad. The property is surrounded by a high-security perimeter ensuring absolute privacy and safety. But perhaps the most striking feature of this billion-dollar mansion is its location. Nestled in an undisclosed, secluded spot, it offers breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape, a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. The mansion stands as a symbol of Putin's power and wealth, a testament to his status and influence. In the wake of such a revelation, what then? What happens when the veil is lifted and the world gets a glimpse of the opulence behind the Iron Curtain? The discovery of Vladimir Putin's secret $1 billion mansion has sent ripples through the globe, igniting a debate that echoes far beyond the walls of the grand estate. The public reaction was swift and intense. The mansion in all its extravagant glory became a symbol, a snapshot of the vast divide between the world's elite and the average citizen. It's a divide that is not exclusive to Russia, but prevalent globally, and the mansion has become a lightning rod for this discussion. Political implications were equally significant. The mansion's existence and its ostentatious display of wealth raised questions about the source of such affluence. How does a public servant amass enough wealth to own a $1 billion mansion? These questions led to a broader conversation about corruption, transparency, and the ethical responsibilities of those in power. The mansion also sparked debates about wealth and power. How much wealth is too much, and what responsibilities come with such power? In the aftermath of the revelation, these questions became louder, fueled by the stark contrast between the mansion's grandeur and the living conditions of many ordinary citizens. The mansion's existence and the controversy it sparked also raised questions about the accountability of the world's leaders. It served as a reminder that even the most powerful individuals are not above scrutiny, and that the public has a right to question the sources and uses of their wealth. As the debate rages on, the mansion remains a potent symbol of wealth, power, and the controversies that often accompany them. It's a reminder of the complexities and contradictions that are often present in our societies, a stark display of the disparities and debates that continue to shape our world.